Hello everyone and welcome to another Meta Ads tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to add custom fields in an instant form in a Facebook or Instagram lead generation form. So before we begin and we go straight to the point, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously to create new content. So thank you very much in advance and let's go straight to the point. So we are going to click here on create. And we are going to start a campaign with a leads objective. Then we're going to continue. And when we continue, we are going to go on the left hand side to our ad set and make sure that we have instant forms selected. Once we verify that, we are going to go to our ad, right? So here we are going to customize our ad, meaning we're going to add an image, a video, our copy. We're going to scroll all the way down and after you customize your ad you have here destination instant form we're going to click on create a form so this is going to be our form within meta ads so we're going to click on create form and here when you come to this screen you're going to give your form a name so we're going to have to say this is our test form and we're going to select higher intent why higher intent because it will give us the option to add questions to our form once we select higher intent, then obviously you can go to Indro, you can upload an image that is going to basically show up to your form basically here on the top. You can select, you can add a greeting, you can add some text basically to let people know what they are subscribing to. And to the point, there is this option that is called questions here, right? So you are going to click here on questions and there is this button that says add a question. So other than the obvious questions, for example, email, full name, phone number that are going to be automatically filled by Facebook or Instagram, because Facebook and Instagram know this detail, these details, we're going to click here on add a question and we have the option to add our own questions to our form. So for example, we can have a multiple choice question or an open-ended question as a short answer or even you can have conditional questions, right? So I'm going to add a multiple choice question. And some of the questions that I like to add, for example, in instant forms is when is the best time to contact you, for example. And here we can have choices, right? So morning, for example, afternoon, afternoon, or we can add another answer here let's say evening. This question is very useful for your sales teams because they know when to call perhaps your uh, leads. Basically, is it better to call them in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening? And you can see here basically how this question is going to look like. So the user will fill in the form with name, email, phone number, then they will have to answer this question. Another question that is useful also as a multiple choice is what is the best way to contact you? So the best way maybe to contact someone, maybe email, it may be, for example, phone number. It may be, let's say, we're going to add another option here, WhatsApp, for example, and you are going to add as many choices as you like. Now you can also add any other question you want, for example, Let's do something different, add an open-ended question, right? So for example, you can say here, which product or service are you interested in, right? Or you can ask them, for example, any other filtering question relevant to your business. And then the user will have to actually type in which product, service, or any other question you have they are interested in or uh, any other information that you want to get. The point of adding these questions is to get better quality leads, right? So because if I add these questions, then I'm going to get better quality leads. It's going to be a lot more intentional, actually, for someone when they complete the form, as opposed to, let's say, clicking and then clicking again and throwing you the name, the phone number, and their email address, and then they forget, for example, uh, when they filled in this form. So by adding questions, you make everything a lot more intentional. Once you are happy with the questions that you add, then you're going to click on create a form. And that's pretty much basically it. Obviously, in order to submit, we need to add also a description. 
like we need to tell uh, a little bit about uh, why people are giving us these details. You need to add a link here with your privacy policy uh, and complete and create the form, right? So that's how easy it is to create a form with custom fields. And why you need to do that again is because you want, when people submit the form, to be a lot more intentional. You want them to understand that you are going to call them, you're going to email them, there's going to be a follow-up, and perhaps you want to get additional information on what exactly they are interested in. The more questions you add, the lesser your conversion rate is going to be. The less questions you add, the higher your conversion rate is going to be. But at the same time, more questions means better quality leads. That's it for today. That's how easy it is to create a form on meta ads with custom fields. If you manage to do that, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you have really interesting questions that you are adding in your forms that help your business succeed, maybe comment down below so other people can benefit from that. Have a great day in any time zone and see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.